Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a very, very, very red market and three potential altcoins to buy in this, you know, horrible market right now. So in the past 24 hours, we are down huge. We are down over 11%, guys, right now. This is, you know, a big, big pullback right here that we're seeing. Volume is going through the roof, over 47.4 billion right here on the volume. Uh, insane volume, obviously, as we see this huge sell-off. Bitcoin hitting lows all the way down to about 40,000 at one point, trading at around 42,000 right now. Ethereum's down to around 3,000 or so, down about eight, almost nine percent as bitcoin is down about 10 percent which is a huge pullback obviously now we see all these other altcoins are down about five percent ten percent ten percent you know everything seems to be about 10 to 15 percent or so depending on which coin because you guys already know altcoins tend to do whatever the you know the big coins do but times two or times three so if bitcoin's down 10 percent i'm not i wouldn't be surprised if some of these altcoins are down 20 30 percent in the next 24 to 48 hours so huge pullbacks are in place and that's obviously a buying opportunity for any long-term holders so we're buying the dip guys so what are going to be these three top coins well let's get into it now before we get into it guys go ahead and smash that like button for me let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time i make a video and as always guys if you want to sign up for webull get your two free stocks valued up to twenty three hundred dollars links come in the description for that as well now let's take a look at the you know rest of the uh, i guess you could say stock market and crypto market and see what else is going on so let's take a quick look before we get into the countdown you know stock market here dow jones was down about 1.7 to 8 percent over 600 point, points down at one point actually it was down close to 900 points almost a thousand points and we haven't seen you know a, a crash like that pretty much since last year in 2020 uh you know nasdaq pretty much same thing down about 2.19 330 points hit lows down here are actually about 500 points at one point which is just insane over three and a half percent or so down so dow jones nasdaq even the you know um you know s p 500 was down and obviously the crypto market as well and all of this because of the certain situations that we're seeing going on in china right now so china's pullbacks are causing us to have some major pullbacks as well including the crypto space so even crypto is not safe right now and a lot of people are going to be you know looking for a safer haven i guess you could say in times like these so we're going to be looking for a buying opportunity. So what are the three coins we're going to be looking at? Well, let's take a quick look, guys. So the first altcoin on this list is going to be BNB, Binance Coin. So obviously, we always look for safe coins on these opportunities. So we want to buy coins that are obviously on a dip, but obviously coins that we would be willing to hold for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So don't be surprised if you see one of your favorite coins on this list. And we'll explain exactly why. So Binance Coin, first of all, down about 11.5% all the way to from highs of $407 just continues to go down all the way here throughout you know Monday uh, and going into Tuesday in the past week this one is down about 9% from highs of about 436 in the past month we're down about 20% in the past year it is up about 1462% we saw Binance coin trade at $22 last year and it continued to go higher and higher here all the way to highs of $690 Pull back down all the way down to about $200, $260 or so. And now we're seeing an upswing, obviously, with a pullback. So first we saw a crypto flash crash last week. And then we obviously saw a consolidation and then an uptrend. And now we're seeing this flash crash type situation once again, down about 10% or so. And it's actually showing us some, uh, you know, negative things and some positive things in the crypto market. It's showing us that, you know, the volatility is insane in the crypto space. So, you know, crypto can go down very, very quickly. And your gains can get wiped out in a snap of a finger. So 59.5 billion market cap right now on Binance coin. 168.1 million coins in uh, circulation. So Binance coin is a cryptocurrency used to pay fees on the Binance cryptocurrency exchange. Fees paid in Binance coin on the exchange receive a discount. So obviously, you know, Binance coin is one of those popular coins that you guys should be very, very familiar with and with the higher market cap. So these higher market cap coins tend to be a little bit safer compared to these low altcoins, obviously, because the altcoins or lower market cap coins um, are a little bit high risk, high reward because they have um, less things backing it. And I guess uh, they're just higher risk because uh, it could be kind of like a, a bullish type situation right now. A lot of hype going on around a coin because it's either getting talked about a lot or something like that. And then we see it in a few months just start to taper off lower and lower and become either worthless or it never comes back to those highs that we saw. 
while Binance coin is definitely not one of those coins in my opinion I think that this coin could continue to rally in the next you know 5 10 15 years for sure this coin is still going to be in the top coins in my opinion and definitely one that I would be willing to buy on the dip in situations like that we're seeing right now as the market is pulling back you know 10 15 20 percent or so so Binance coin first coin Second coin on this list is going to be Algorand, so Algo right here. This one is a little bit on the lower side, so mid-cap coin right here. This one is trading at $1.68. It was at highs of $1.95 just about 48 hours ago, down about 13.67%. In the past week, we are down 22%. In the past month, we are actually up about 48%. So, you know, for any long-term holders, you're doing pretty well. You're still in the green. Here on the one-year chart, 486% higher. We went from about $0.29 cents last year all the way you know, to highs of about $0.70 cents here and it continued to go even higher, blasting off just pretty much here in the past uh, about two or three weeks. We went from a dollar and continued to go higher and higher past the two dollar and fifty cents range so over 150 percent made in you know a few weeks so very nice right here momentum that we're seeing with algorand and hopefully it doesn't stop and it continues to go higher 9.2 billion market cap on this coin right now 46 day typical hold time it is the number 13 coin by popularity so it's gained a lot of uh traction the past few weeks as this coin was you know not as known in the past so 81 percent buy 19 percent sell trading activity Algorand is a cryptocurrency and blockchain protocol that aims to be simultaneously scalable, secure, and decentralized. It uses a consensus algorithm called proof or pure proof of stake. So that is what you know the difference is between them and some of these other altcoins, obviously, or crypto in general. So this one being at under a 10 billion market cap, it definitely has potential to continue this run. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if it was trading around ten dollars per coin in the future, as long as you know it had things to back it up and continue to have this momentum that it is having right now. So Algorand is definitely another coin that I will be keeping an eye out on. You know, potentially even if it continues to go lower down here, uh, you know, closer to the one dollar range, it could be a very good opportunity to buy, especially if volume starts to pick up and we see another uptrend on the higher side with the bullish type situation. Bullish Bullish market towards the end of 2021. So Algorand added to your list, guys, the one uh, to watch. So third altcoin is going to be Solana, guys. So you guys guessed it. We have to talk about Solana. So Solana, we saw this coin go from $30 that we shouted it out. Went from $30 all the way to highs of about, what, $220, $230, I believe, at one point. Here on the one month chart, it was around 215 coins or dollars or so. So we saw it, you know, boom. But now we're seeing a downtrend all the way from 151 yesterday, all the way to lows of about 125 or so. It's down about 9.5%, guys. It's trading at 138 right now. In the past week, we're down 17%. Past month, up 77%, obviously, as it continued to boom. But, you know, we saw this coin have a huge uptrend. Now it's pulling back down to earth. And this is definitely something we talked about in our videos, saying that, you know, Solana was a little bit overbought and we might see a cool off with Solana. And we're going to be wa waiting for that perfect buying opportunity. So the range that we're going to be looking at is closer to the $100 range, but potentially even a little bit lower maybe closer to 90. If we can get closer to 90, this one could definitely have a huge uptrend in the future, especially if NFTs continue to have an uptrend as well and continue to be hot. Now we might see a little bit of a cool off in the NFT world as well, but in the future, maybe a year from now or two years, you never know when NFTs are going to explode again and Solana will be right there to catch on, you know, with it. So Solana's, you know, at all time highs up almost 4,900% or so in the past year. So it's been booming. You know, this coin was trading at around $3 last year. Now it's, you know, a lot higher. 39.3 billion market cap on this coin. Typical hold time, 12 days. Number five on the, you know, popularity chart. 76% buy, 24% sell on this coin. Solana is a decentralized computing platform that uses SOL to pay for transactions. Solana aims to improve blockchain scalability by using a combination of proof of stake consensus and so-called proof of history. As a result, Solana claims to be able to support 50,000 transactions per second without having to sacrifice decentralization. Solana is definitely one of my favorite coins, obviously, guys, on the in the market, and definitely a coin that I would be willing to buy on the dip if the market continues to go the way it is right now. Solana is looking spicy, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is Solana on your radar or not? And do you think it has a you know bright future ahead of it and could potentially catch up to some of these other coins? Could it overpass you know Binance Coin or Cardano in the future? Only you know time will tell. So we'll have to see. Now let's take a quick look and, you know, and see how the rest of this market is performing, guys. So like we said, Bitcoin down about 10%. 
all the way from highs of 47,000 over the weekend. Now we're trading at 42,000 or so, hitting lows actually at one point at around you know 40,000 or so, which is just insane that we hit lows down there. Now in the past week, this one's down four and a half percent or so. Uh, you know we saw that flash crash last month or last week happen as well, and we pretty much hit that 40,000 area and bounced right back up. Now we're gonna have to see what happens here if we're gonna bounce up or not. Now we are seeing this, you know. A little bit of a sell-off. We did bounce from 29,000 all the way to 53,000. And now we've wiped out about 10,000 of those gains, you know, in a matter of the past uh, two weeks. So we're going to keep a very close eye, see what Bitcoin is going to do in the future here. It's still up over 310% on the one-year chart, 786.8 billion market cap. It just won't pass that 1 trillion market cap, guys. We're getting so close so many times, but we pull right back down. But that's okay. Right now, 76% buy activity, 24% sell. Ethereum, Ethereum's down about almost 9% or so. It was trading at 3300 pulled back down to lows of 2800 Great buying opportunity, in my opinion. For anybody that wanted to buy in at the top, obviously, right now, this is your opportunity. So 348.1 billion market cap. In the past week, it's down 8%. Past month, 8% as well. And then on the one-year chart, we're still up 784%. We're booming, baby. So from 1700 all the way to 4000 and now we're seeing a little bit of a cool off. We're hoping for it to you know bounce off and continue to stay around this 3000 area and consolidate for a while. Trading activity, 78% buy, 22% sell activity on Ethereum. I, I'm still very bullish on these coins, obviously, but you never know what can you know market can bring. We also have earnings coming up in about a month or so, and now this whole China situation, a lot of these things are you know bringing negative energy around the crypto market and the stock market, pulling everything down. But like I said, could be a buying opportunity. So Doge, Doge is trading at 21 cents, hit lows of 20 cents at one point. In the past week, this one is just going, continuing to go down, down 10%, past month 35% down. Obviously, from 16 cents, we went to 32 cents, and now we're only trading at 21 cents. We're only about five cents higher than we were at the low in July, and this is during a bullish movement. So imagine what's going to happen if we see a bearish type situation and crypto continues to fall. Doge is going under 10 cents, in my opinion. I've been saying this for months and months, and some of you guys don't agree with me, but it seems like it because I believe that Doge doesn't have you know, a value for the future, there's nothing to back it up. It is a meme coin, in my opinion, still. Only at a 26.9 billion market cap, I think it will continue to go lower and lower in the future. 73% buy activity, 27% sell. What do you guys think about all these cryptos? Are you buying any of these? Are you selling anything? What do you think is going to happen with Bitcoin and Ethereum? Will we see a you know crypto crash or will we continue to boom towards the end of 2021? Leave a comment below letting me know. As always, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, if you want to sign up for Webull, get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Links in the description for that as well. I'm not a financial advisor, guys, so this is all for entertainment purposes only. Before investing, speak to your financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and understand the risk and reward type situation you're getting into. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.